Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Ormer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And today, we are going to Fontaine. Now, I was. Oh, there's like a little picture we can take up here of the tree as well. Of course. Why not? What a nice way to start. Beautiful. Uh, we are heading up towards here. I'm going to get this quest, uh, no, this waypoint, and then head through a tunnel here, uh, which you guys nicely suggested. There's the drums that we played before to go up this way. Um, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. It's like the most nervous I've been just because I feel like this is like, like I said, the last full Archon quest. Um, obviously, Natlan will probably be full. Maybe it won't be full. I don't know by the time we get around to Natlan. Uh, but right now, this is the last like full region, I suppose, if you want to call anything full. Because they might add stuff later as well. You never know. And it, it's a really somber feeling, right? Because uh, I'm sad leaving here, but at the same time, I'm super excited to see this new place. Because again, I have not an inkling of really, like, fully what this place is going to look like. Like, you've seen, like, you know, little hints of, like, people from there sometimes. Maybe some, like, menu stuff. But nothing is ever preparing you for what is going to be ahead of us. I'm nervous. <laughs> nervous in a good way, though. You know the jittery nerves you get before you, like, go to, like, a party or something? That kind of nerves? That's what I'm feeling right now. Is there enemies in here as well? I love you. Oh, there are enemies. I love you, enemies. It's so weird we, we didn't even go to this tunnel. And I didn't even get this waypoint marker until people pointed it out to me as well. But this is where we're heading. Let's see. This tunnel is actually... A lot... Bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> you know what I mean? I genuinely thought that this was going to be like a short... Oh god, we're, we're stuck a little bit. Th this, of course, is my... Uh... <laughs> this is... Of course, is my first Fontaine video. Um, we can warp out, though, can't we? We'll warp back to here. Um, <laughs> of course, this is Calvin's first Fontaine view. We get stuck in a waterfall, of course. Let's, let's speed it up here to get to here. I want to do a slow walk. But after getting stuck in the water, we're going to be booting it. We're booting it to Fontaine. <laughs> Let's go. Only we could start off in this way. Um, I am like, yeah, I'm very nervous, but in a good jittery way. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, each new region has its own like culture, has its own world, has its own characters, places, locations. It has its own music. It has everything. It like changes like how you view the game itself because it adds another layer onto the game. And adds more story to the game as well, which is what we're also excited for as well. I'm so excited to see more of the story as well. And of course, we have all those different story quests we could do. There could be more world quests that we can do. Let's not get stuck in the waterfall this time. How about that? What does everyone think about not getting stuck in the waterfall? Everyone agreed. Okay, glad we concluded this business meeting. So happy for everyone. Um, <laughs> only me. Only I could do that. But yeah, like, it's, 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 an, it's an exciting time, right? It's an exciting time going to a new region. And like, for real, like, I choose to not look up anything about anything. I don't want to learn anything about characters beforehand. That's why I like doing this playthrough. It's, it's so fun and I get to watch, look everything for, like, through, like, the eyes of someone who hasn't seen quite a lot of the world whatsoever. Look at all these different, like, shells. Like, conch? Like, like, different, like... Yeah, they're like, um, a mud frog. Thank you. Like oysters and stuff? And there's another one of these guys here as well. I'm guessing I'm guessing this guy's gonna wanna fight as well. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. I, I didn't think this tunnel would be so big. Not now. What a start. Fury. What a start to our Fontaine journey. This gigantic tunnel. But honestly, like it, it, there's a feeling of like anticipation as well, right? There's this feeling of like, okay, like it's almost good for us. It's like when there's like a long car ride before you have to go somewhere, right? It's like, oh, I have to go to this thing. It's going to be a little bit, uh, you know, nerve wracking. It's very exciting. I can catch myself and like kind of like gather myself in this tunnel. I'm very okay with that. You even want this? It looks like we're almost exiting. Well, we have the night sky to accompany us. Should we do a default during the daytime? I think so. I think, I think default during the daytime is probably a good idea. I know it sounds weird, but I feel like it's always good to see it in the daytime first. And then we can see it in the nighttime. But then again, we saw Liyue Harbor in the, in the uh, nighttime, so it's different for every other place. 
right? It depends on uh, the location, but we'll just do daytime. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I'm so everything. Too slow. And there's Celestia in the distance as well. And there's the already obtained waypoint marker. Very peaceful out here. And this is going to be our first visual of... What? What? Did you see that? The two of us walking up together? My dear lord. My dear Archons. Oh my god. What the hell? That's the waterfall we've seen in the distance all this time. It's so beautiful. Oh my. And look at it. Look at the port as well. It's like a like a water paradise. And what's the actual Archon quest leading us to then? That's the actual Archon quest? That's what we have to go to first? I didn't even realize, but that's fine. Like, I guess like this is our first look at Fontaine. Holy hell. No, I'm happy we got this little cutscene and we're gonna see it at night very quickly already. It's gorgeous! Look at the little islands. Is this, the, is this the, literally the waterfall we've been seeing? In the oh my god, look how far it stretches. And it goes down there. This is gorgeous. It's so pretty. <laughs> Too slow. And look at the, oh my god, actually at night it looks so gorgeous, but look at the lights lighting up out of the port area. It's like a tower though. I can't even see like a sit. I can see like little towers and stuff in the distance, mountains, there's a mountain peak over there. Okay, let's start this. Let's go back to Carvan Rebot. <laughs> and see what they want from us over here. Was not expecting that. I cannot believe how pretty that looks. What were we up to the first time we came here? It was with Alhatham, right? Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. So much time has already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru's changing oh, for the sure. now that Nahida's in charge, right? It is. I'm still, I'm still just thinking about what we just saw, guys. It's so pretty. Paimon just hopes this piece will last a long time. Look at this. But as long as we're around, of course. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick. Yep. <laughs> Who knows what we'll Oh, God, next. don't say that. Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> true, true. Um, I was thinking that it might be, uh, that you might be the problem, Paimon. No, we're both the problem. <gasps> we're big problems. Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. Yeah, so we're both, we're both, we can both be problems, or both not be problems, I don't mind. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next stop, Fontaine. Uh, look who it is. Oh, wow. Running into you in a place like this. I can see you two still love wandering around. And it's great to see you before we leave. Oh, it's <laughs> the folded arms. Care of some serious business, even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. Yeah, we're yeah sometimes, sometimes. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Okay, cool. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're planning to leave Sumeru for to head for, head to Fontaine. Oh. Huh? Y you serious? Someone heard about that. Someone heard us. Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm. But you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. And we have to find our sister. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. 
Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking oh, about it. Oh no, I'm starting to feel sad too. I already, it took me so long to like come to turns with it. I was missing Sumeru already. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? Oh, you don't have to, you don't have what to. What do you say? You don't have to go all your way. Thank you so much, Dia, though. Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. I miss the crew room. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you already two, headed there as well. I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Uh, we'll leave as soon as we finish some, uh, uh, some preparations. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few oh, no, in that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that <laughs> list Paimon made? It is very sad because like, I have come to turns with the fact that, like, I, like over the past few days, I've been very sad a little bit, you know, as well. Because the thing is, is I'm, I'm sad whenever I leave, like, a region because, you know, it, it's it's going to feel that way. But, like, excitement comes along with it. And now they're making me sad again. This guy keeps listening to us with his Fontaine outfit. Is he going to come over and talk to us? I see. No. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like that, this. That would kill me. A going away party would kill me. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be where oh. it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. But I mean, <laughs> we've gotten so much, like, welcomeness from you guys. And that's such a beautiful thing to say, Dia. We've gotten so much welcome feelings from you guys and so much happy memories with you guys that, like, it's worth a thousand, you know, going away parties. Right. She'll know for our dreams anyway. This is so special. I didn't expect this at all. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Yeah, she'll know we're leaving anyway. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. So nice. Absolutely so nice. What a way to leave. And especially Dia, someone who like means so much to Sumeru and the desert as well. Take care. It's really cool they chose Dia to say goodbye, for some, for uh, to say goodbye to Sumeru. Yeah, I would I would have been able to take a going away party. It would have it would have legitimately killed me. I would have been very sad. After setting out in Sumeru, you approached the border with Fontaine, so they're bringing me back to this area anyway that we saw as well. Actually, yeah, I'm glad that we went to their place then because they just took us right back here. Wait, do I just travel down here then? Do I just fly down here? Yeah, interesting. I I think the more I think about it, it's like Dia was like. When we left, obviously when we left Avidia Forest, I think she was the first person we let, we met in Sumeru City who was like a named collectible character, right? Obviously we met Kale and Tanari first. That's so cool. Holy, look at this place. And it's so interesting leaving the desert. And again, what Dia said was so true. Like, is the idea that, like, it's a better place now that we left. And that's what you want to do. That's what you want to feel. You want to feel like it, you've left somewhere better than you, you know, you came to it. This is incredible. What the hell? You can almost, like, it's a game, but you can, like, feel the crisp air almost. Holy hell. And the ships as well? And it's so close to the desert, but like it's so like... Like how does that... Like, does that make sense? It like feels crisp, right? It feels like you could breathe the air here forever and you would like... Heal all your like... Illnesses. It's so beautiful. And then this port as well. Barely. This is a test of stamina. Do you have enough stamina to even get here <laughs> Man. we're about to step foot in Fontaine we're about to step foot in Fontaine okay here we go there we are we did it after crossing all that sand and water we finally made it oh, this must be Fontaine's place. look at that little, little, little thing with a hat over there yeah, it's be- oh my god. With the clock as well? Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Yeah! Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely Look at that guy! And there are all kinds of unusual machines! That guy's like a- he's like- he has a robot armor! He's even more impressive than I expected. Yeah, I did expect robot armor! Sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be 
be better if we found something to do. Oh my god. Wait. Do you hear this music? It's so pretty. It's such a pretty song. What do you think? Look at this look at this little kid. With the hat. Let's start with me and the Hydro Archon. What start? Good idea. Nahida gave us loads of useful But we're gonna start with that. Seeking out the <laughs> is probably still our best source for information at this point. Our journey is to find my sibling and also find the truth, yes. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. For sure. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? This music. Nahida said that she has a very unique personality, whatever that means. In Genshin, that can mean a million and one things. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go. Oh my god, look at their fancy the outfits as well. <laughs> they're like, they're like, fan they're so fancy. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Who are we talking about? Yeah, I didn't expect. Look at the hat this woman has. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Look at that! Look at that on the the board. There's a, there's a there's a that's that's totally has to be Linny, right? Look at that. That is an advertisement for a magic show, and it's Linny's hat and his cards. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. This is so interesting. Just like we're about to be people, our first people we're going to talk to in Fontaine. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice. <gasps> There's you Lynette. You're listening. It's Lynette. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, this we're music's so freaking good. We're to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> Look at that person's outfit in the back! Where'd you get all these outfits? The song is so, like, it's... You know what it's like? It's like this, like, um... It's like, the, the ambiance of it is, like, so... Like, it gives the feeling of, like, a very kind of, like, like almost like a noir movie or something like that. Like, a, a, like not even a noir movie, like a movie, like a love story, almost. You know, from like the like a fifties movie, right? It really feels that way. Uh, play? Oh no, no, no! We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few case. days ago. Case? Really? Like a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of. Story. That is totally Liddy's poster. What did they talk about? Like the like I. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid That's true, enough. whether it's good enough, whether it's actually enjoyable. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. So they see trials as sort of an opera? Wait, so court cases are entertainment? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is very serious. A very serious thing. Yeah, but like, I think, I, I don't know, like, like I think it has been entertainment in the past, in the real world. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. Look at you your outfit. say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. So they see like the st like the cases themselves, the stories they can talk about as well. Which, in fairness, like I think a lot of times now with cases, people like when they get really into that stuff, especially when they watch all the like trials and stuff like that, they can get really into that stuff. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. Nouvellet, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice. False charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. A judgment device created by the Archons. This is a nation of justice. We've had so many different types of nations, and now we have a nation of justice. Pure treat? Is it some kind of machine, too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, 
Wait a minute, I forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should My do shoes. if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina Frida? practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. So all of these characters, by the way, that I'm that I've heard about, I've either I have Lynette, I have Linny. Um, obviously I don't have Farina or, or Nouvellet, but I think that that's like they like how I know them obviously is from like whether they've been on the banner. Or whether every once in a while, like, uh, oh no, Farina was also on the banner at one point as well. So I think that's where I, I first met them or first heard about them. But I've never seen them in story, which is what's so exciting about meeting new characters. I've never seen them in the story. I've never seen their trailers or teasers. So this is so exciting for me. Uh, I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. Yeah. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a oh, really? tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. So we have to make an appointment? So the Archon of this world is Farina. That's good to know. I think for a long time I thought it would have been uh, Nouvellet, I suppose. Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, did you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Oh, so people love her. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Right, people tend to really, like, like adore the Archons, right? Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. In what way does she mean, like, like, is she talking about it? Because I know they are adored, so I guess she's talking about, like, oh, I guess someone who doesn't involve in the nation's affairs, yeah. And it's just because she's popular, um, in terms of, like, her, in terms of, like, not just because if she's an Archon, because who she is, I suppose. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets Yeah, now. better way of putting it, a celebrity, Archon yes. kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's yeah. Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. A very interesting way of describing an Archon. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellette. The way Monsieur Nouvellette. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying okay. something disrespectful. What they're showing us here is that it is the nation archon. of justice. You will be treated fairly in your trials, at least from their perspective. They have an archon who is a celebrity, and also, uh, you're not just, but you're also, they're trying to show us really quickly. Don't worry. It's not like you're going to get arrested so quickly for doing something that's a little bit out of line. Um, seems like the people of Fontaine really like the Hydra Archon, but they don't seem to revere her, so they don't treat her as an archon. In a different way than when they had when they heated, because here they treat her as such a celebrity that like I wonder if like it becomes almost like this thing where it's like, oh well like that's like that's just our like celebrity. That's what we said, that's our mascot. So they don't maybe like treat her in that way because maybe they're more comfortable around like the idea of like seeing her as a celebrity. Alright, I think we get it. Thank you. I think we get at it. At least we now know that we can find the hydro archon at the opera house. What are we gonna talk to but Lynette? Who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the oh, city yes. in the meantime. Please. Hey, what are you looking over there for? Because he sees, he sees, there's a girl over there. She's been standing there, uh, alone for quite some time. It's a Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water. Wait, is what? Uh, maybe we better oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. This is so pretty in the background. Look at this. It's such a pretty place. Oh my god. Prelude to Blanchard and whatever. I couldn't even read it so fast because I was so distracted by everything that's happening. Oh my. So sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's our first, like, named character. Our first, like, main character, I suppose, in uh, Fontaine. Hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Huh? Oh my god. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to that's myself. That's not good. That's not good at all. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. Right. See? Uh, your 
pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? <laughs> Maybe they're mermaids? No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. Oh, really interesting. Okay, so it isn't a sea. It's like she's... Okay, I didn't know that. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely The water submerged. rose. Okay. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Very descriptive as well. I suppose like it's like that. That's what it is with memory. Memories are not just like visual stuff. They're sight. They're smell. They're they're hearing everything. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. What? Like, what? <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. What do you mean? I uh, sorry. Diamond doesn't really get what you mean. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, I think, you know, it's like the idea of, like, obviously we know in the spirit, like, the, the figurative sense and the literal sense, it's covering something that gave them memories, right? Like, the idea of this island, but said it's soon it's going to submerge, cover us all. So, like, that's going to keep happening? Ah, I don't believe we've had the oh pleasure my God. of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? That's Liddy. Oh, and you are? It's Liddy. Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to Oh, my God, this introduction. Childhood, that's all. There's no need for any this concern. This introduction. Oh, allow me to introduce <laughs> myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. Look at the two of them together. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Two S-tier designs in one place. What an introduction for Linny. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. It's so good to see these characters. We were just talking with your sister. Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. S tier, S tier designs. Look at this. Brother and sister, like, both look like magicians. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. Oh, for real? In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. It's so nice hearing their voices as well. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us. Paimon's always the one talking to us. <laughs> That's hardly anything left for me to say when you were out, Paimon. Yeah. In a good way. So that's how you think it is? In a good way! In a good way! You say everything for us! I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Also, you too. No, but like, I think it's a good thing because Paimon gets everything out of the way so I don't have to say a load of stuff all the time. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. Oh my god! <laughs> we are quite similar. That's so sweet. I can't believe we're in Fontaine. <laughs> I can't believe we're here. When I started 10 months ago, like, I did not think we'd even ever... Well, I knew we would get here, but it thought it'd be way longer. <laughs> it's not bad to be compared to Liddy. So, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? It's an interesting conversation to have. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some a time. Prophecy? Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. I didn't expect, like, this voice in, like, in the full conversation, by the way. Like, I think it's, like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It is a very, like, um, it is, like, someone who's used to talking to people, or at least talking on a stage, right? Or at least used to, used to being able to conversation. You can tell that in the voice. But it seems that something is happening now. That is so certain it's not even a prophecy anymore in Fontaine. Where to begin? The teardrop as well. Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, though. No. Look at you! Uh, did all the introductions earlier not <laughs> No, he means formally. Hello, traveler. What? What? We're just. No, no, no. Hello, Linny. It's a pleasure to meet you. And hello, Paimon. Oh my god. Hey! When is Paimon gonna answer? Wait, did she get pat on the side? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? Wait, I think maybe maybe what happened here was like he, he wanted to give it a first introduction, but we already said maybe who we were. <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Sure. Thank you, Liddy. Right then. Well, 
again. Grandma's just happy to have a local friend. Yeah, we already have people we like here. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the opera house to meet the Hydro Archon. Perfect. Would you be able Perfect. to show us the way? Look at these designs. Look at these. With your eyeballs. Revere this. <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things. Sure, here. sure, one hundred percent. Whatever you can. Please follow me. Look at this, look at the boots. And the tights. I'm so excited. I'm so this is this is I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. Look at this boat, by the way. This is like a futuristic like boat. Like they don't have these in like Monstad. Oh, we're gonna follow you. Sorry, I was just gonna check it out the boat. Look at this crew now. I can't believe Linny and Lynette are the first characters we meet here. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina what? has come to see you. Wait. What is. What? <laughs> Clorind! Oh my god, you're so cool. You're so cool. What an introduction, are you kidding me? The shoes and everything. <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> huh. So, she's the Hydro Archon? Like, how did she know we were this for her? This was made for me. This is the type of freaking pageantry and like, like performative stuff, like performance stuff that I freaking love. I freaking love this stuff. With this music in the back, listen to this. It is like, the music does remind me of like old movies that I used to watch. My dear people. It's me. Rich and poor. Huh? Those with cup in hand. I'm and sorry, okay, okay. Nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration. If you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. I'll raise the ha both hands. Both hands. What an introduction. And they love her, of course. Everyone's allowed to clap, of course. Let's go. Holy As hell. You can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have oh, announcing us here? In our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. I'm going to love this place, aren't I? I'm going to love this place. Look at this, look at this outfit. This is the exact stuff that I freaking love. This is this is my type of thing. Uh, is she talking about us? I love the pageantry. I love the over the top nature. I love that type of stuff. This this is the type of stuff that I love. <laughs> Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. Just raise your hand. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your oh, way. Oh, she's already heard about us. You visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. I am honored. I am honored. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. For sure. You can be rest assured. I see your eyelashes. Your, sincerity. your eyelashes are beautiful. Also, I did not expect this from Farina when I eventually was going to meet Farina. I, I thought Farina was going to be a lot softer. But I'm glad that, like, there is, like, again, always goes against my expectations, which is always a good thing. Like, the idea of how, like, you know, I guess, like, how good she is at speaking, how good she is at performing. Of course. Seeking an audience with Great me outfit. is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct. <laughs> the little name. laugh in between. We'll, we'll gather on your batter, sure. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Thank now, you. You may rejoice in this. Nope, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, finding the Arkham was easy enough for sure. Yeah. Still can't Do you hear it. this music? We've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Icon's entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top? Paimon, I agree so hard, but I'm all for over the top. I'm all for it. 
I am I'm so okay with this type of pop and pageantry. I'm so okay with it. Miss Hydra Archon? I didn't know we were coming. Uh, I see. Your outfit's incredible. It's so good. Landers, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. You tell us. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. <laughs> She's treated like the Archon is like the being an Archon like as part of the performance, right? It's pretty it's pretty interesting. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette yeah. necessary to communicate with a god? That's the guy that was listening All in on us. The flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. He he told. Oh my god, that's so good. They showed that to us earlier. And by the way, I don't know if I have the good the etiquette to communicate with you. I will try my best, Miss Farina. Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. It feels like she can't get over herself, and I can't either. Welcoming ceremony still isn't enough. I'll take more. Hmm. What else should I say then? She's fabulous. She's absolutely fabulous. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Oh dear, Archon. I'm glad to be here in Fontaine. Whatever you need. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What is it? So she doesn't come here often? Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? Wait, so everyone knows us here? How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel, duel? of the century. Duel? This is so interesting they're talking about us in this way as well. That they've heard so much about oh, us. I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. She's... She won me over with being over the top. I'm sorry. I don't care if, like, the impression that they tried to give you here is that you're supposed to be like, Oh, Jesus Christ, you're so over the top. More over the top. Do whatever you want. I love it. You may consider this my reward to all I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from so another So there is going to be a duel? Just as you were hoping to see. There could be a duel, but I'm already hypnotized by, like, how cool those lashes are. Uh, now she wants to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Oh my god, we took- Oh god, fighting gods, I've got a resume. <laughs> oh, Clorind. Clorind looking right on there. You said a duel! You said a duel! Oh, look, they don't mean that. They clearly don't mean that, do they? Hmm? <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind oh, you that this is a duel against the divine? Was part of the, the, the play that she was putting on here that we were supposed to back down a bit? And maybe everyone backs down? What are you trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? Clorinde, I'm just telling you right now, like, not my intention whatsoever. We were challenged to a duel. <laughs> Stand down, Clorinde. Admire his bravery. Few have the courage to the draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. It's always different. It's the same thing with Ito. Like we've had this through the whole playthrough. Like seeing the characters like, like in the the menu, and then seeing them in their like full cutscenes and performances and stuff like this. It's like so so different. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled. A mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. And what will, Lady Farida? Oh, yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <sighs> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. So the criminals will fight, will, will Crest do, maybe it's like a trial by combat? You see. Then, as the god of justice, I shall face the another kind of duel what a duel in court we're going to court Whoa. all right now that'll be worth seeing great voice performances as well all the way around here from farina's voice actor right 
This is Fontaine, after all. I'm dying. It's such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. Oh my god, we're going to have a court case in the- Like, this is insane. This is- This is so insane. <laughs> Paimon judging this based on other archons, I'm supposing. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? And we haven't committed any crimes! <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious? According to the Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine what? City limits during the first three days Paimon? of each month. Paimon? You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? <laughs> are you talking about Paimon? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she That is does. a weird law. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? Yeah. <gasps> you mean Paimon? Yeah, she's not an object, it's Paimon. Then, in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. Honestly, fine. You know, great performance. Take us. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil things. Oh, then he's going to interject a bit, okay. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying Oh my god, you're good. Paimon's going to love you forever. You tell her, Really? <laughs> someone who's not crazy. Exactly. Ah, great magician Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? Oh my god, Paimon is gonna love Linny, already angry at the Archon, that's not a good sign, right? Paimon being angry at the Archon. This music is so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. It feels like everyone's doing a performance. It feels like it's all a performance. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me oh, to magic perform trick? a trick for everyone. Let's go. His vision. Huh? Ta -da. What? What's that on Paimon's back? Hey, when did Linny do that? Oh, when Linny pa- Oh, the thing he patted on us. So it was a pat on the back, but it wasn't a greeting like he said. Oh, poor Paimon, man. You just got here. That got you as Linny on her side. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the oh my God, it's attached to us. It was just that no one could No, see I only noticed it now. I thought it was just gonna be like something to show she's alive. We have her attached like a balloon. Paimon's our balloon. <laughs> you call that magic? You've got to be joking. That, that doesn't amaze you? He created a makeshift balloon out of a person. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold It's water. a silly charge, let's be honest here. <laughs> oh my god, she's fabulous. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. Amusing. Very amusing, Linny. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be- Yeah, everything's a performance. And I'm not I'm not complaining. I think she does. I think they all do. In which case, consider the matter oh of trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. See, this is what they're talking about earlier, how it was a real trial. As long as it has a beginning and like a middle and an end, there was a story to this part with Paimon. And it entertained people. That's all they want. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad. But even the gods of other lands. You're gonna judge, uh, Nahida? <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. No. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! She says toodaloo! 
No, she's fabulous. She's absolutely fabulous. And look at these soldiers going in again, these outfits. That's... The last thing I expected was a full-on performance here. And then Clarine just walking away. What? Yeah. Yep. Ever seen. He never even had a chance to ask her anything. But that's a problem for future. <laughs> True. Women. That whole scene just now was really. It was a lot, and especially for someone who just came here, right? Obviously, I'm sitting in the spectator seat. I'm not actually going to get arrested, right? But it, it might have been a little bit scary. But it does seem like this whole place is based on a performance. But I will say, I said it a million times throughout this whole introduction. It was a fantastic introduction for an archon. It was so different from every other introduction we've had before. Um, for, for our archons, you know, it's always been different. In this case, like, it really fits, like, what they're talking about, like, here in the, in the, in the harbor, which is the idea that, like, you know, it's about being entertained. It's about, like, you know, not wasting an entertainment or a chance to entertain people. And that's what happened here. We had a full-on performance. Thanks for bailing us out, Linny. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. Wow. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. Linny, we're in debt to you forever. Look at this. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. It's such a great design. It's so good. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? An interesting one. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, confusing is a good way to put it. Anyway, I might have no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? Which is too- I will hope we get to see something like that. <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. Okay. Magici uh, magician's assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. That's the poster. The Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. So we've heard. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? I'm already there. My brother is always excited to make new friends. No, you guys are great. This has been such a fantastic introduction. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now. And we wanted to go to the opera house anyway. I would be so delighted. And look at the way the back opens as well and the outfits too. Like, they're so freaking good. And we're gonna be leveling up Linny and Lynette now as well. How fun is that gonna be? I would be delighted. Splendid. Oh, splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? <sighs> you really mean it? Then I'll take sure. you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. For what? Oh my god, what the, it's like it's just a bag. <laughs> but it's a really pretty bag. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it again. What are they going to use it for? About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Yeah. Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the nation of justice holds trial after trial, this sin oh, cannot wait. be absolved. So the idea is that, like, they're trying to, like, clean that sin, but it's never going to be cleaned. And, like, the only thing we know is, is related to being called a sinner is, like, um, the people of, or what they call themselves in the people of Conria, right? But I guess that might be, obviously, that's not, like, relating totally to this, but, like, you never know. But there's like the, the tear coming down from Farina's face here. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. And that's starting to happen? In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters and only the Hydro Archon will remain. Jesus. Weeping on her throne. Jesus. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. It's like Noah's Ark, right? Like it's... To get rid of their sins finally is is to drown underwater. That sounds pretty gloomy. It's sad. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses, 
Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. Oh, so there's loads of stories being passed around. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. That's interesting, because so like, again, the way they presented the Archon here obviously was more like a celebrity, but there was like a, like a big defense squad there from Clorinde who did treat it like obviously, like with reverence towards the Archon. But it seems here when it comes to like the idea of like, of way the way they describe history here, it's like we're not going to accept anything as absolute truth in history unless we have that evidence. And it's interesting, the last quest we did was about like, you know, um, how Zervan was like saying to us, hey, yo, like, don't believe anything until it's like written. And I wonder if being this close to Fontaine might be like a, like a little bit of like a preface to like this next mission, you know, maybe not, maybe not. But like, I think it's interesting that we had both those kind of conversations. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? See, I wonder, is there like, you know, it's like almost like a, a, a constant guilt. That's exactly what the people did at first. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. But now the water is engulfing our memories. It won't be long before it engulfs us. So it is like that's the evidence they see. They've now seen that there is some evidence that the prophecy could be true. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. Such... Again, it's like the idea of like, it's like, it, it can be a natural phenomenon, but then they're like, okay, well, it, 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 it's better to like, we can't, we won't lose anything by like accepting as real. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy no. when people are moving Are they bottomless? gets it? It's like preparing for a rainy day. But this is more than yep. a bit of rainy day. It's more than a rainy day. If the prophecy is true, then is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. This is an incred already like an incredible story, an incredible start, and how to set itself apart from other like nations already especially with like how they like talk about these stories about like like mixed with evidence and things i guess like it feels like so different already now if you'd like to help then please give sure. these magic pockets yeah. to anyone nearby be sure to convince them to take it regardless of what they say take it right now yes yeah, so interesting to start with way to start again it's one of the strangest ways i agree with Pima, one of the most confusing and strangest ways to start off but like i kind of like the confusion um, if anyone knows me from like any playthroughs I do, over the top characters are like one of my favorite things in the world. I love the idea of like a big performance and the idea of a big performance. If, if Farina started doing like a full musical number there, I'm like bowing down, you know what I mean? I'm on the floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm on the floor. Um, and then also like showing us like different characters already. We have Linny and Lynette, where Linny also is like a big performer, but like obviously is a little bit, you know, a little bit like, um, like, a, like a magician should be like a little bit coy, a little bit like... You know, what, what are they doing at this moment? You know, like, what are they thinking at this moment? You know, the way they did the pat on the side to Paimon, the pat on the back to Paimon, we didn't even know what they were doing, but it was all for good in the end. They seem like they're very pleasant people who are, like, accepting us into Fontaine already. And then we had someone like Farina, who, for my money, like, obviously loves to entertain the people. Like, that's what they did what they did. They came out here to entertain everybody. And that's why, like, they, they acted the way they did. You had Clorin there, which all we can get from Clorin's personality so far is that they are hell-bent on protecting Farina, and they will not accept anyone going near Farina at any moment. Uh, it's a pretty interesting introduction to a lot of characters here already. Um, first of all, I want to go see this robot knight. Look at this. Oh my god! It literally, it's not armor, it's a robot! It has, like, blades for legs? Your calves could cut anything. Truly. Truly could cut anything. Let's go let's go talk to people now. Holy hell. 
look at this. We've, we haven't even gotten into the city. We haven't even activated the map. Here, take a bag. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing Dude, you earlier. Dude, I don't care if you don't seem like a connoisseur by not knowing who we are. It's obviously now that, like, you know, the story of the Traveler is something that's very interesting to us as well. So they're blurring the lines with the story and us also, you know, of how much we're revered already as like, just, like, this big story that happened. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Always. Oh, please. Yeah. Also thank the magician on my behalf. Oh my god, I'm gonna thank the him. Chance. He's amazing. He's truly amazing. I love the guard outfits, they're so What's cool. This? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use. Take it or you're going to trial. What? You mean the waterfall. you don't believe in the prophecy? So it's interesting having people that like, you know, because you're gonna have different viewpoints of it as well, right? No, no, I believe in the prophecy, but I also believe in another story. Okay. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. Yeah? But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me... When the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going. So he thinks home. that they're gonna like just adapt to living in the water then when the water rises? Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater, they'll die! Oh, Pyron. Probably still take it. I was like, you will literally die, please take this bag. <sighs> all right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. So they do have their own, like, spiritual beliefs, of course, as well. But I guess, like, they're, if you're talking about the evidence they're basing it on, it's the idea that, like, okay, okay like, and it's, it's probably, like, what you want to believe in a way, too, right? It's like, why is the water rising here like this, right? Wait, can we pass over this way? We could have passed over this way. That's how you pass over here. Very cool. Um, so it's like, it's like, it, that person wants to believe. Look at the tree up there that we created. That person wants to believe that the water is rising for a different reason and they know a different prophecy about the rising of about living in the water. So that's their belief right now. It's interesting seeing the different beliefs, right? There's the other robot a guard. I thought you were a human in armor, but you're actually just a robot guard. I'm coming aboard. What's that place over there? Someone goes Calvin, that's literally like Sumeru. Sorry, Galathy, I'm just looking at the waterfall here. I'm not looking, <laughs> looking I'm not being rude to you. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time. Three different viewpoints here already. Everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. Okay. I'd really rather not. We're gonna have a beautiful backdrop like this every single time we're playing, but what she's saying as well is that, like, I guess it's like... The idea of, okay, if I, if I, if I accept that, like, I have to move and I have to leave and I have to get out of here, then that means it's probably gonna manifest maybe very quickly that you have to do it. It's like I've given up on that stuff. Very interesting. So the three different viewpoints we got so far is, it could, it, oh, thank you so much. It's definitely real. Um, it's good to be safe. The other one is, it's real, but also I believe in the other prophecy that we're all going to turn into like water people, which is a cool prophecy to think of as well. And then the other prophecy, the other person's like, I just don't think this is necessary. I like the three opposing viewpoints. Hello, I'm back. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some, uh, interesting opinions. Yeah, many people were quite stubborn is the best way, no kidding, yeah? Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. True. I can't go, I'm, okay, no, we have to, we have to get, no, we, no, we don't have to get over the designs ever. Ever. 
Like, this is so inspired. Like, the buckles with the freaking tights and the boots. And then, like, the corsets. Like, this is so fancy. And it's so different from anything in the game so far, you know? Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make light work. That's cool, we're already helping, right? Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Well, how about? So cool. So cool, because we already, like, again, and Paimon appreciates this too, we appreciate it also, the idea of us making friends, right? The idea of us knowing people so far that, like, have already, like, taken a shine to us. And I didn't expect it to be Linny and Lynette. Like, in my mind, the introduction to Linny and Lynette was actually, like, I thought that it would have been, like, maybe at, like, a like a, a magic show. I Like, I, like and just to get you know, like, my, my, my interpretation of who uh, Linny and Lynette were, I thought they were, like, like, oh my god, look at these. Okay. Then we'll switch our teams out. Um, I thought Linny and Lynette were going to be introduced to maybe like on the on the street or something, doing street magic or something like that. But like, it's actually like, you know, we got, and the introduction to Farina, I like, not even joking, my interpretation, you know, when you have your thing in your head and you're like, oh, this is what I think is going to happen. Like, this is the idea I have in my head. I thought like legitimately that what we were going to have. Oh my God, look at the Fontaine background. Oh my God, it changed again. I legitimately thought that what we were going to have here as we came here. Let's oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. With Farina was like maybe an introduction where like we meet her at like, you know, it's, since it's an Archon, you're thinking like, okay, are we going to meet them like in the midst of like a battle? Are we going to meet them like, you know, when they're super sad? Are we going to meet them when they're like super angry at someone? Are we going to meet them like, you know, is it going to be like Nahida where like it's a slow burn? No. When it comes to this, well, how we met them was actually very on the surface. We can do it. Let the show you know what I mean? In a good way. We have to put some energy recharge on. Well, I guess we don't because it's a healing power, right? And we can just do this. This is a beautiful location. Look at all this. What is this? Let's check around the back here. Why not? We have some time. Let's check around the back. <laughs> You know what I mean? You get to, you, you always think about I never thought it would be like a full on performance, you know? I never thought it would be that, but I'm very glad it was. I'm already like very, very happy with everything. And how beautiful this place looks. But I can't wait to get into look at oh my god. You picked the right outfit for this, Barbara. So far from home, but it's beautiful, isn't it? I just probably freezing near that waterfall. Probably very cold. Oh, they're over the side, of course. My bad. Go, Barbara, go! <laughs> Barbara's going for a dive. Well, at least we got to go around and see everything, you know? Well, starfish. Interesting. So interesting to see. Go, Barbara, go! go, Barbara, go. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Why, thank you, sir. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. Lynette's got, Lynette's got enough on her plate. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance. Oh, right. So, the okay, house. okay. <sighs> Learning a little bit more about Fine. them. Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. We're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... 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 What's wrong with him? Is everything okay? Wait, shh. Oh. Have you noticed okay. that person over there? The young girl. Now I do. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. And you can tell this from over here? Look at the eyes. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. True. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. 
Are we getting a dynamic here as well, by the way, between Linny and Lynette? That is, like, the serious sister falling around the very, like, rambunctious, you know, outward brother. Watch her movements carefully. And how to describe- yeah, like, it is- it, what he's saying is true, but this is really cool that he can notice the stuff. Are we gonna help? Because he did do the pat on the back to us, right? Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. Whatever you think. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to Oh run. my god, they're giving us like a good reason to go up to the top of the elevator too. Understood. Leave it to me. Alright, let's go. Such a blast. Such a blast here. And then we get to ride the elevator up to the top. Yeah, it's pretty cool how they're relating the idea of, like, you know, he would be able to notice this stuff. And they're showing, like, what talents he has. Uh, they're talking about the performances they're doing. It's super, super cool. Okay, here we go. Going up the elevator. Romantine Harbor upper level towards Fontaine. So we're not even in Fontaine yet. Like, we're not even in Fontaine proper. <laughs> You're made for Fontaine, Barbara. Look at this. She was made for it. She was made for Fontaine. People are gonna think she's the fanciest royal who ever was. Hu Tao actually could do a rap here and probably control the whole nation. Have you heard of the new rapping girl? This elevator ride is long. What are they loading? Well, they don't have to load anything because it's already loaded in. So like, it's just like to give you like a sense of presence, I'm guessing. But this is the... Yeah, we're looking back on... What do they think with this jutted out of the sky, by the way? You're in Fontaine, you're just like, okay, a giant ghost tree. And here it is. Here's the map. Man. And it's only a... What is that? It's like an, like an aqueduct or something? Poisson? West slopes of Mount Amantque? Little houses here along the way? A boss near the water? What the hell? A domain already? Did lights just start flowing for the sta statue of the seven just now? It's so weird. Anything like this ever happened before? A rush of water, maybe? It certainly is the nation of Hydro Archon. Even the statues of the seven uh, are water fountains. Yeah, right. That light wasn't normal at all. What? Well, you didn't feel uncomfortable at all? Uh, oh, the water is speaking to me. My prime is going to believe you. If you crack jokes out, you must be fine. Though. After lit up like that, the air does feel a lot more humid. Maybe it's because of all the hydro energy that was released. Huh. Paimon uh, heard that the for Fontaine, if you can use that elemental property, you can even swim underwater. Maybe you can even find sunken treasure. Paimon leave the dive of a treasure for you. Paimon will stand at the shore and wait for you. It'll be lonely going underwater alone. Ah, but 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 being in the water is scary. You don't have to go, Paimon. Ever. What if Paimon accidentally gets swept to the current and gets all turned around di and dizzy? Uh, and then she won't be able to fly uh, away no matter what. Just like Paimon met you back in Mondstadt. Then I'll fish you out again. Really? Then maybe Paimon could try going to war with you. You better not go back anywhere. Never. That's such a sweet way of putting it, right? Wait, what? A mysterious power that flows out of the statue imbue you with the blessing of the transcendent source water? Your prog- Will remain unhindered as long as you are moving through the lakes of Fontaine. Under the protection of the transiosic source water, what you expend while moving underwater is not stamina, but aquatic stamina as such- What? Wait. 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 Do we actually have to- we have, oh, oh my god. Wait. We can go underwater? Wait. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Wait, we can go underwater. Are you- are you- are you serious? Are you serious? Where is the- where is the traveler? Where are you? There you are. This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Sure, Zach, very true. Resonate with Hydro. Obtain the power of Hydro. And now we're blue! Wait, should we jump in here just for now and see what- no, wait. We should wait. We should wait until they, they probably might give us a story opportunity to do this, but that is insane, the fact that we can do that. 
I did not know we could go underwater. Wait, what, is, what is that? Oh, is that the what you read? That's how you resonate with it? And that's what. Oh, it's not a little kid. It's like a. Oh, I thought you were a kid. Who are you? Look. Oh my god, it goes all the way around. Look at that. Are you joking? <gasps> what the hell? Look at this. Are you seeing this, Sarush? Are you seeing this? Holy hell. Yeah, they're probably going to give us an opportunity to swim underwater. Uh, that's insane if we actually can, like, in a, in a very significant way. Yeah. Get ready to stop her? Like we're doing all the we're doing a few arrests here. Oh no. Did she notice us? I think she noticed the, the man staring at her with their, his hands on his hips. What should we do? Should we chase her? Our job is to block this path. The rest is up to Linny. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Nothing's happened for a while now. If yeah. Got the thief. Probably. Let's go find Linny. Yeah, let's go. Cause she ran away for a while a while back. This isn't. This is such a crazy first time here, right? Wait for a Aqua Abyss. Wait for Aqua Bus. No. An a wait an Aqua Bus. I tossed an Aqua Abyss. It's an Aqua Bus. How long will it take? Sorry, I gotta go talk to someone here. Oh, they're just over here. Are you sure that's all she took? Oh my you god, he got it back. To make sure you're not missing anything else. There's one word to describe the characters of Fontaine Savard. I said it a million times. They are fabulous. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief at Stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. Right. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. But you did a good job, though. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his oh, ankle, no. and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, you're a good sister. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? Oh, just imagine the poor thing twisting his ankle all the I'll way. I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. That's good. That's good. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, and she, you're right. Again, this is... Sorry, Lynette. This is the best dynamic. I love dynamics like this. The serious sister reeling in the over, like, uh, rambunctious brother. I love it. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete thing. Not at all. Look at stretching the corset. Look at that with the the the, the folding the arms. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lily's initiative paid off. When I say stretching the corset, by the way, that's not me like uh, saying anything about like his body or anything. That I'm saying like, like or like you know being like, oh, he's stretching the corset. You know, like because that could have a negative connotation if you said that to someone. I mean, like, because when you move, like, obviously your outfit's going to move, but it's a really cool animation that they even included that, if that makes sense. All right. Let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine. And the way they look over there as well. Oh, my Lord. What sweethearts, honestly. Ride the Aquabus. We're actually going to the Aquabus? I have my hands on my face right now. And we're just traveling all the way with Lenny and Lynette. This is so special. So, we ride this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around. People in Fontaine really know how yeah, to Yeah, it's, it's really ingenious. This is an aqua bus. It allows people <sighs> to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. We've never seen anything like this in the other regions we've been to. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. 
That's why it's better to travel with well, friends. Well, here we are. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? No, no, he didn't mean it. That's a... Look at that dog. Is that like a... That's a full-on dog. That's like, I have a... That's like... That's like pet that your friend down the road has dog. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Oh, for real? Not as talkative as, uh, Linny? Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. And they live <laughs> together? Yeah, I love digging the hole like this as well. Oh, look at that. So cute. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, the teardrop as well is like the prophecy like on Linny's face. It is what it's like. I guess that's like, uh, a little, you're my mother though, Paimon, in fairness. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. I'm really excited to see what this is like. I'm also excited to swim under freaking water. Who's that? Wait. Oh, excuse me. Aren't you the great magician, Linny? And his assistant, Lynette! We were not supposed to meet this character when we did. It was in when I first came to Leeway Harbor when we met this character. No, I don't believe we've... A vision. A book. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Oh my god. Another new character. But yeah, we met this character before, but like, at the, I, like, I ran into him by accident when I started nice my playthrough. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performance. Nice hair. It's an honor to meet you. But look what's happening. Yeah, this is this is Wait, the best. Could that be the legendary traveler who's been making headline after headline <laughs> in their journey across Tibet? Uh, you could say that, yeah. Great outfit. Amazing. You recognize everybody almost immediately. Well, it's probably your job to recognize <laughs> this stuff. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Wow, today must be my day. Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Could my vision finally be showing me some favor? This song is incredible. It's so good. I'm dying with this music. I really am. So, Charlotte, what do you usually report on? I'm sorry that I keep noticing that I'm the background as well. well it's so incredible. Any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. So you cover all that stuff as well. It's a really cool design though, isn't it? You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Even I want to read those. Yeah, it's all about entertaining people, right? That's fine and all, but what I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talent. Fair enough. Oh, I just remember. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the top That's of the town That's pretty serious? Right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird, oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? It seems to be ongoing. That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. Wow. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls that's, have ever been found. That's horrible. Imagine having to, like, to live in that Many area. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, Another disappearance would always happen. Then there must be more than one criminal work. Maybe they're copycat criminals? Yeah, maybe there is. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. For sure. 
for sure. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back. Oh. And then find a way to track down the culprit. Well, are those pine trees, by the way? Please don't imagine that, Lenny. That's so sweet of him, though. That's so sweet. You continue talking to the Aquabus, and before you know, you arrive at your destination. The background there was so, like, so pretty. And it's so interesting having, like, uh, Charlotte enter in here as well, because Charlotte we met during the Lee, like, our hey, first time at Leeway Harbor. Man, oh my freaking god. Oh, my, look at it. It's so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm dying. And the vocals and the music as well. There's such a magical tone to this area. It feels so fancy. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's incredible. This whole setting. It kind of reminds me of now, like it's like, uh, like it gives me like well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. French vibes. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. How am I supposed to? It's so amazing meeting new characters. It's so amazing seeing new scenery. There's so much an overload of stuff because everything is so cool right now. The music here. It's so magical. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay. Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the That's so cool. A news reporter as well. It adds such like a, like an interest to like the like even like the news reporting is like for entertainment, which it, like it really is sometimes as well. People watch the news sometimes, uh, you know, to, to be shocked sometimes, and that's what happens. Like you know, I don't watch the news myself, and like I know some people don't watch the news just for shock and stuff. But sometimes some news is like sensationalized as well. It's really cool getting talking to the characters and getting a grasp on what Fontaine what is like. Tough job, always running around and interviewing everyone. Where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home sure. first? Sure. Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. I'm so for it. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. It's so pretty though. It's so pretty. Are we warping straight to the home? We're not going to get to have a little gander? Ah, Jesus Christ, come on. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> dear lord, dear lord. Oh my god. This is the city. It's breathtaking. We're in a new world. This is like a new universe. Look at that the the, picture, the kind of doll on the on the shop as well. There's a cauldron over there. There's like this fountain. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the freaking music. I'm dying. I am bereft of life. I am deceased. Oh my god. Go to where Linny is. Look at the map already. We've already entered like a whole new location. We have to go back and explore this region for sure. And these other areas like... For sure, right? We have to. I kind of want to take a look around here for a second. What's this? You may easily have the time. You will not easily retain perfume made by Miss Emily. Perfume? Tell me. Oh, this is the character we see on the banner, right? Emily? Emily? She moves much like perfume herself. You cannot reach her. Nor can she be stopped. She is not employed by the company of the Carabre. Nor does she work for any fixed brand. But still... She remains the most famous perfume designer in Fontaine. The elegant, fashionable ladies of Fontaine would even give precious gem for her perfume. Too exaggerated for your ears? Hmm. In that case, simply take it as I've so I've heard to this statement. Okay. So this is Emma Amelia's Emily's shop. Oh my God! What are you? Sorry, do. Are you a dog with a top hat? 
Rough, rough, swing, swing, the cane. I can't even talk to you. Oh, you're just so elegant. So, 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 so elegant. Where do we, where do you even start? This is like my brain in overload. Where can you even start with this stuff? Do you even start? Can you even start? Will this allow us to start? It definitely does have like a very like, oh my god, look at the colors. It does have like kind of like a, like a, a, a French, like, or like, as I said, like a noir vibe as well, but. Oh my god, what's down here? Is this where your house is? Oh, it's higher though. A hat just close. Look at this. Paimon, you would look so good in that straw hat. Or that white hat. Or actually any of these dresses, you look great. Hello. Oh, esteemed uh, Udex, the life of a small person is truly difficult. Uh, are you all right? Thank you, kind soul. Would you be able to hear my uh, mezzaline's troubles? Yes, a mezzaline. Perhaps my father have been too enthusiastic about it integrating into human life, but I've gradually found that there are a lot of difficult things to adapt to. You look so cool. You look so cool. Humans are such large things in their daily lives. Use such large things in daily lives. Take clothes, for example. Sure, we can buy a shirt and use it as a dress, but too, but we still need to get cuffs tailored. And if we want to rent an apartment, we can only buy children's furniture. And even then, I have to step on a stool to reach the windows. If only I had a body like scene wines. Or maybe I should just go underwater. Don't do anything rash, all right? Oh, uh, don't misunderstand. There's no need to worry. In any case, we melo melozines. Melozines? Or melozanes? Mel are excellent in the water. When I say underwater, I'm referring to the place where Shijwin works. She's a companion of ours. And she looks more like a human. She welcomes friends from the... Mara, Sh Mara Chose Phantom to drink tea with her in inf infirmary, but she's against us working there for a long time, unless we want to switch work to a more medical bent. That's because many of those underwater have been sent there by Mar I guess it's Mara Show, Mara Show, Mara Show, uh, Phantom, so they probably wouldn't want to see uniformed melozines. Is it too late for me to change jobs? It's never to this art. Oh, spoken like a Monsieur Nouvellet. It is just that with my hands and eyes, there are a lot of human work that I can do, can't do. In terms of ability, I'm more suited to work as a Marachaud's phantom. Everyone has their own strengths to utilize and duties to perform. I guess that is probably the order in life. So cool talking to, again, like it's just like all, like it's such, it's a different world, right? It's such a different place to experience. Oh my God. Welcome to Cafe Latus. Here we have the most bitter coffees and the sweetest cakes. With guests astute and absurd. Uh, absurd. Okay, I love an absurd guess. So we have a recipe. Yes, thank you. Thank you. The cell Fanta? I'll buy an Il Flotan. Conch Medellin. Coffee? Oh my god, this is this place. This town is fancy. I'm like, uh, uh, right now, I'm making poor wander to such a tourist. Wow, this place is one fancy place. Look, Palmer, look at this. Look at the hats. <laughs> I don't care. I'll be, uh, I'll be too fancy for my own good. Olive, Olivier, uh, is this okay? So it seems like there are like more. Um, is it like Louis? Charlene. Okay, I think that we're gonna get plenty of time to explore this town. I think they're gonna give us plenty of time. Oh, there's a picture thing over there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna have stamina. Glade, you get it. Don't know why I thought that was gonna do. I wanna go up to the shop as well really quick. At least get a look at it from this point of view. It's gorgeous. Absolute. Hello. How are you? They're just walking around the place. Blades for legs. I look at you. What the hell? Tell me about this dog. Tell me about their- You guys have dogs. You guys have like fancy dogs. It might be time to check the durability of the bearings. Uh, who are you? I'm a patrolling gu guards member. Oh, does the little salute. More precisely, I accompany the, the Gardamek on patrol. Tell me about the Gardamex. That dog is a machine? Oh no, I'm referring to that big machine over there in the distance, not this little cutie. Of course, it's also a great assistance to us guard and guard, po guard, guard poodles can do great many things. Neither man or mech can replace them. 
Good to know. You're a good guard. You're such a good guard. Do we have anyone doing maintenance? Look at the on tail. This, uh, statue. Statue? Do anyone do maintenance on the statue? She says. <laughs> this is incredible. This song gets me already. It's the vocals. It's the vocals are so beautiful. The, this is the core de Fontaine. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Don't don't go too far into the into the light yet. I feel so lucky, man. Getting to experience this for the first time with all you guys as well. <laughs> so it's down here. Too slow. Yeah. The wind rises. Look at the city view. Are oh, we gonna see their house? What are we gonna see what the homes are like? Wait, 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 wait! This is our current abode. That's that's from an from an Ah, from an Your home. Oh my god! Where did everyone else? Go? <laughs> I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. It's been so long. We finally get introduced to him. Oh. They all just went out a moment You ago. are amazing. Top 10 design of all time. I see. Look at that hair. Everyone is getting busier oh now that father will be returning soon. I suppose that can be helped. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to my little brother. Little brother. Henry. He is a phenomenal Yeah, he diver. has a cool little diving helmet. This is the best. This is the best. I could not have asked for a better first episode. Uh, hello. Hi, Fremade. Imagine that you sent it to him. Your design is like top five in the entire game. Very proud to have a They're all, oh my god, they're brother and sisters. Lady Shirt seems to have a big family. <laughs> and he seems very, like, a very proud older brother. He really does. Like, the way he talks about them. Uh, Lenny, could you come here for a moment? I can't get over it. We're meeting Fremine. I cannot get over it. Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Are you so shy? It's alright, you go ahead. Yeah, for sure. I... We're so lucky that this is the first episode. Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just discussing okay, a little. Okay, fair enough. None of my business. Sorry for the none of my business. Honestly, none of my business. I'm just happy to have met all of you. Oh, uh, before I forget, the traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots. Oh my of god, materials. he dies for materials. I was about to give them to you. It's, you know, you see what I mean when I say it's a different world? Like, there's people that are divers here, and that's like a profession here, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, there's there's people who lived underwater. There's 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 idea of, like, there's little, there's new creatures here. There's dogs dressed as, like, like poodles. And we have Fremine! This is the luckiest we've ever been. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Can we stay with Fremine for a bit and have a chat? I want to learn more about Fremine. Started the rain. Oh my god, look at the animation! Someone get out of the rain! And the lights go up as well. Is this good or bad? Hmm. Looks like rain. I guess it's just rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> Fermin seems like a very quiet type, right? And like, it seems like we have a quiet little brother, a kind of like very stern little sister, and the very like, you know, outgoing older brother. This is such a- this is such a long time in the making, guys, that I got to be Fremine, right? We got this character so long ago. Like, so long ago. Like, months and months. Maybe even like eight months ago. There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. Yeah? Beautiful voice. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Huh? Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Whenever I hear about dragons, my ears perk up. When I was a child, 
My mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. That is so cool to stop the dragon from crying. Hydro dragon. Hydro dragon. Don't cry. That is so beautiful. That's such a beautiful sentiment. Could the hydro dragon be the elemental dragon of Fontaine? If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. But that's such a beautiful like thing that you're told. You know, you're told as a kid, like when it's raining, like when like you're always told different things. Like we we were told as a kid that like when thunder happens, it's just God moving his furniture around his house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and we were told that like when uh. When it's raining, God is crying, which like to me was like, you know, a very scary thing to say to someone. But I think this is much more beautiful the way you can like, you know, the, the, the dragon is crying and then Fermin looks at the sky and says, please stop crying, you know? Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Yeah? What are you going to do? Hydro dragon, hydro dragon, don't cry. <laughs> you did a little roly poly thing? Hmm? Didn't work. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. So he's not very popular? Is that what we're getting at here? <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. After some time, the rain stops. Oh, look at the lighting here. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Yeah, that teardrop is exactly like the prophecy. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, I think we're supposed to, like, chat with all you guys for another ten hours. Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. His voice is so soft, and, like, it is, like, so pleasant to listen to as well, isn't it? On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. See you at the performance. So excited. Oh. Uh, are you leaving now? Look at my boy! Look at him! What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, We'll do it is for you. It? We'll do it for you. Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to no the problem, Fremine. workshop and deliver them to the owner there? Fremine, you've already worked so hard. Looking that good. You can, you can do what you need to do. I'll go do this. I'm afraid that Fremine can be quite it's introverted. Okay. And the boss there tends to be yeah. pretty talkative. Fremine has always been a little... That's what Herb said. Okay, Fremine. You don't worry about that whatsoever. No trouble at all. Don't worry. We're on the case. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's no butter. It's no butter. quite useless when it comes to such tasks. No. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. You being alive is enough. What a pleasant introduction. What a way to introduce ourselves to Fontaine. This is, this is, I think, to me, like, in terms of, like, introductions, it's definitely the most magical in terms of, like, like, presentation and performance. It's like, it's, it is like a performance. Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with Do you with want me lady. to get her? Paimon can beat her up. Paimon can really beat her up. Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with that lady. Paimon, you know what to do, okay? Shorash, you can join in too. Why don't you just leave your shop and Paimon and Sarush are waiting for you outside? What do you think about Sarush, by the way, for everybody? Pretty cool, huh? Um, guys, that's gonna do with the first episode here of our Fontaine journey, and I'm so thankful that you're coming along for this journey. Uh, okay, we, he's introverted. We have to stop staring at him for a bit, okay? Um, I, um... Overjoyed at everything that happened today. I love the performance aspect of this. I love the overtop nature of this. I can't wait to explore more of the places that we pass by. There's also unbelievably beautiful locations. The kind of noir French vibe of this is so beautiful too, but I also just love the kind of like very like how, how everyone treats everything kind of like a performance in a way. And I'm sure that's going to break it sometime too. The prophecies, the idea of everything being very spiritual, but everything's based in evidence as well is also a really cool thing to think about also. Um, also getting very lucky to get introduced to characters that like we already appreciated from afar, like almost like we saw them as a painting, right? I looked at Fremine as like this like amazingly designed character, probably one of my top five favorites, you know, if you look at, you know, up there with like the likes of Rosaria and Fischl and, and, uh, and, and characters like that. Um, and then like, you know, we met, you know, Linny and Lynette. 
as well. Clorinde, we got a got kind of a glimpse of Clorinde. We got to meet Farina, who like is not what I expected at all, but so glad I did get to meet them. And then we got to meet Even um, cannot blow on forever. Uh, we got to meet Charlotte as well, who we met before, but like this isn't a proper context now as well. We got to meet so many different characters here, and we also heard something about a dragon as well being like raining from the sky with their tears, uh, which could have something to do with the dragons that we already know. Uh, we've heard about the idea of a Nouvellet being like the judge. This place is a place of justice. There's so much in the first episode, and I think it's such an incredible introduction because we got so much information. It wasn't overwhelming. It was really beautiful. They eased you into it as well. Like, uh, you can go explore for sure, but they eased you into it and let you see all this beautiful stuff as you were going. There's pine trees. There's dogs. This is incredible. There's Frebidae. Uh, You know what? Hold on a second. We got to do the thing right if we're going to be saying goodbye. First of all, I want to say... Thank you to the Never Can Repay the Baby Gangsta Tier on Patreon. That being Typhiro 2, JB Bull, Janet the Banana, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, Yuld, Radish, Anusta, Shibata Bread, Malcolm Conde, Death Trap, and Lynx Marky. And guys, let's get a character to do the thing. I think today, to do the thing, let's see. Where is our Fremenet? At your command. At our command? Okay, we'll do, do it over here. Just so everybody doesn't get weirded out by seeing themselves. Let's go. Perfect. I'll see you guys so soon. Bye-bye.